no feline is more malign than the black cat. The black cat, along with pumpkins, bats, and witches, and spiders, yes, and spiders, have become a staple of Halloween imagery. While black cats are typically associated with Halloween, witchcraft, and bad luck, and the number one Halloween costume choice for both children and women in their freshman year of college, oddly enough, there's much more to these dark colored fur balls that you probably didn't know. I thought I saw a pretty cat. Let's take a look at our shadowy feline friends. Hi, I'm Leroy. And I'm Rosie. And this is Animal Facts. Let's get started. But before we start, take a moment to like and subscribe for more fun fauna facts. Meet Binks. Binks is our resident black kitty in the Animal Facts household. Binks showed up at our doorstep two years ago, and well, we can say without a doubt that the only spells he's ever cast were... Um. What's that? Oh right, get on with the list. It's almost dinner time. Okay. Number 10. Beginning in the Middle Ages, black cats became associated with witches and witchcrafts and, of course, the devil. Some people went so far as to believe black cats were cohorts to witches, or even witches who had taken animal form. This widespread superstition resulted in the horrific mass executions of black cats, and sometimes even their wrongfully labeled owners. The elderly, solitary women who often fed and cared for stray cats were also often misidentified as witches and the cats as their evil conspirators. Will? Well, we did do the nose. The nose? And the hat. But she's a witch! Yeah. We publish every Monday and Friday, so hit that notification icon to not miss a single fact. Number nine. But maybe these witches were onto something. Forget the stereotypical depiction of the perpetually single crazy cat lady. In some parts of the world, it's believed that black cats can actually improve your love life. That is, as long as you remember to hit your outfit with the lint roller before going out for a date. Or you could just wear that little black dress. In Japan, for example, single women who own black cats are believed to attract more suitors. And in Great Britain's English Midlands, a black cat is the ideal wedding gift. They are believed to bring good luck and happiness to the bride. If you're in Germany and a black kitty crosses your path from right to left, good things are on the horizon. Right to left, Binks. Right to left. Number 8. Not only can a black cat beef up your love life, but they can amp up your good luck and improve your finances too. Historically, sailors brought cats aboard ships to hunt mice, and presumably for companionship. But British sailors in the Royal Navy believed that a black cat in particular would bring the ship good luck and ensure a safe return home. A few of these kitties have been enshrined in maritime history, like Tiddles, who traveled more than 30,000 miles during his time with the Royal Navy. If you were a pirate, it became a little more complicated though. Pirates believed a black cat walking toward you was bad luck. A black cat walking away from you was good luck. And if a cat boarded the ship, then jumped off, the ship was headed to see Davy Jones. Number 7 It's common to think that black cats and shelters are the last in line to find their forever homes. But a recent survey from the ASPCA suggests otherwise. Although euthanasia numbers for black cats were of the highest, their total number of adoptions was the highest of any hue as well. But his wicked past does still haunt him. Aside from continuing to rep all things eerie, the fear of black cats still has some influence today. Many animal shelters won't place black cats in homes during the month of October, for fear of them being used sacrificially. Yeah, that's some bad juju. Many also advise keeping your black cat indoors on or near the Halloween holidays. Number six. The black cat is not a breed. The Cat Fanciers Association recognizes 22 different breeds that can have solid black coats, including the Norwegian Forest Cat, Japanese Bobtail, and Scottish Fold. But the Bombay breed is what most people picture, a copper-eyed, all-black shorthair. The resemblance to a black panther is no coincidence. In the 1950s, 
a woman named Nikki Horner was enamored with how panthers looked, that she bred what we now refer to as the Bombay. The Bombay's nickname is the Parlor Panther because of its resemblance to the big cat. Many black cats have golden eyes, which is the result of high melanin pigment content in their bodies. Number five. Put your lab coat on. Researchers at the U.S. National Institute of Health discovered that the genetic mutations that cause cats to have black coats may offer them some protection from diseases. In fact, the mutations affected the same genes that offer HIV resistance to humans. Because cats can experience many of the same health issues as we do, cancer, HIV, and Alzheimer's to name a few, they make perfect models for studying human disease. By figuring out how cats have evolved to resist diseases, researchers can potentially learn to prevent diseases in humans as well. And we thought the only thing cats ever did for us was knock stuff off the furniture. Number four. Black cats can rust. Okay, so they don't actually rust like a tin can or a bike. A black cat's color all boils down to a genetic quirk. There are three variants of the black fur gene, solid black, brown, and cinnamon and the hue works in conjunction with the pattern. If a cat has a solid black hue, but also the dominant tabby stripe gene, heavy exposure to the sun can make the pigment in his fur break down to reveal his once invisible stripes. Your once black cat is now a rusty brown cat. Number three. They're difficult to photograph, but it can be done. The modern day conundrum black cat owners face isn't bad luck, but bad lighting. In a world filled with people sharing photos of their pets on Facebook and Instagram, black cats can end up looking like a dark blob in photos. A photographer's advice? Minimalist backgrounds so your kitty can stand out, and angling him towards natural light sources, but keep him out of bright sunlight. If you're snapping pics on your smartphone, tap on your cat's face to lock exposure on your cat. Number two. A black cat with an arched back and bared claws was used as a symbol by the industrial workers of the world, the U.S.-based labor union known as the Wobblies. It conveyed the idea of a wildcat strike, but was also meant to unsettle employers, implying that a black cat was crossing their path and they should watch out. According to one story, the logo was originally devised during a strike that was going badly. An emaciated black cat strayed into the strikers' camp, where it was fed. As it grew healthier, the strike prospered, and when the workers won some of their demands, they adopted the cat as their mascot. Number one. Can't get enough black cat in your life? You can visit a cat cafe devoted entirely to black cats. Step through the doors of Nebiaka in Hemiji, Japan, and get ready for your wildest cat lady dreams to come true. Black cats are the stars at this cafe, and visitors are invited to pet, but not pick up these bewitching felines. Since it's hard to tell the cats here apart, they all wear different colored bandanas around their necks, and their names incorporated in their identifying color. The staff will lend you a little book with photos of all the cats, including their names and their birthdays. Okay, you're done. Not only can a black cat be... Not only can a black cat beef up your love life, but they can... Yeah, that's some bad juju. Me. Want more fun final facts? Go ahead and smash that subscribe button and hit the notification icon to not miss a single fact. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. Hey, this button works. Or that other button also works. If you'd like to help us grow, consider becoming a patron on Patreon or clicking the PayPal link on animalfacts.us. And as always, catch you next time.